refractory acute myeloid leukemia, leukemia that persists during and after treatment. In AML, chemotherapy is used, sometimes alongside other treatments, to destroy leukemia cells. Remission is achieved when there are no detectable leukemia cells in the blood and bone marrow and when the healthy blood cells have returned to normal levels. In some cases, chemotherapy does not kill all of the leukemia cells, meaning patients do not achieve complete remission. This is known as refractory AML and can occur in 10 to 40% of patients with AML. Refractory AML is diagnosed when abnormal leukemia cells are still observed in the blood or bone marrow after two cycles of chemotherapy. Some patients do not respond to therapy. This is because certain mutations can result in leukemia cells that are resistant to chemotherapy and other treatments. This allows the abnormal cells to survive and the leukemia becomes refractory. Symptoms of refractory AML may be similar to those at initial diagnosis. These may include feeling tired, breathless and lightheaded, bruising and bleeding easily, bone aches and fever. If you are concerned that your symptoms of AML are persisting after treatment, seek medical advice as soon as possible. Abnormal cell counts can be detected with a blood test and refractory AML can be diagnosed using a bone marrow biopsy. Further treatment for refractory AML is required to reach complete remission. Treatment options are unique to each patient and depend on a number of factors, including age, overall health, type of AML, genetic information, previous chemotherapy, and patient's wish. For more information on the treatment options available to you, please visit our website or ask your leukemia specialist. Our goal is to facilitate and improve the knowledge of AML worldwide. Now that you have an understanding of refractory AML, why not take a look at what it means to be in remission, the primary goal of any AML treatment? Visit no-aml.com Hashtag no-aml.com